Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I have a collective message. We're gonna find out what Rob wanted to hear. Please remember this minute right now for everyone. So let's get straight into this and find out what Rob wanted to know. Okay, there's an energy here of somebody kind of, they have their eyes on you, okay? Now, this person, there's an energy of them thinking that you are very cute, okay? There's this, like, very cute energy, okay? Um, I'm kind of getting, like, a very adorable energy, okay? So, this person kind of thinks there's something about your face, like, for some of you, you have like an adorable face or a very cute vibe to you. I'm also getting an energy of you. This person feels like you're very innocent. So you may have a very innocent vibe to you, okay? Um, there's an energy of this person now. They have their eye on you. But they also have... It's like they want to trick you, right? Now, I'm getting that whoever this is, um, this is somebody that is very, they're very self-absorbed, okay? They're definitely, they really only see themselves, that, okay? It's like, there's something here, um, they may want something off you or, there's some type of selfish reason, and I just need two, one, two. Um, there's some type of selfish reason as to why this person's approaching you. They've also been watching you for a long time before communicating, right? Now, this person, they have some type of plan. For some of you, um... They may be trying to get your sexual energy. They may be trying to um, form a sexual connection with you, okay? But I'm getting that they're trying to trick you into thinking that they're not or they're tricking you into... For some of you, um, they're going to say things like they feel a very strong soul connection to you. Um, but I do see that you kind of see through this person, right? There's also an energy of you going through a pattern of the same people. So you may be attracting the same people into your life. Okay, not the exact same people, but like they have the same traits, right? I'm getting that you have dealt with very... Maybe people with narcissistic traits, okay? Um, but I'm definitely getting an energy of you. That you're very wise. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're very wise. You also can see that this person, they want something out of you, okay? This person, it feels like they're trying to trick you and they feel like they may be trying to get some type of information out of you or something like that. But you see through this person. Um, I'm getting an energy of this person coming in with communication. Okay. Or they try to trick you. They may ask you something. Okay. And it's like you call them out. And then this person goes away. But then I get that they try a different way. Right. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Or you could be dealing with a Scorpio. So whoever this is, right? This is somebody that's very, very, um, they're kind of cold. They're giving me a very cold vibe, okay? I'm also getting that this person, they seem to lie, right? This person, um, 
I'm hearing deny, deny, deny. Okay, so this person, they lie, they deny. Um, they may make up stories. I'm also getting that this person acts like somebody that they're not. Like they try to, I'm hearing gentle giant. Maybe they try to trick people into thinking that they are loving, they're caring, they're gentle. Okay, but this person, they definitely have, a very vicious side, okay, they seem to be a complete liar, they also seem to be very self-absorbed, this person will switch up on you any moment, okay, this person, they seem to be very money motivated, um, whoever this is, they have their eye on something that you have, okay? And for some of you, before you, like, actually establish a connection with this person or, or even to speak to this person, it's like this person has already planned out. It's like they want something from you, right? Right? They see you and they see something that you have and they want to take it. They want to trick you. They also feel like there's an energy of you looking very cute or giving off a very innocent, cute vibe. And them feeling like it's going to be easy to trick you, but them not realizing how intuitive you are and how you see right through them. For some of you, they try to trick you. They're going to try to trick you into, like, a connection, into a friendship or a relationship, okay? But I see this failing and I see them going away, but then I see them coming back and trying again. This person, they seem to be very unhappy at the moment, um... I'm getting that this person, they're making very bad choices. They may have treated you like an option. I'm getting an energy of this person having a massive ego. If this is a love interest, guys, this is somebody that will try to trick you into thinking that they're somebody that's very loyal, very caring, very loving, but this person, they have a massive ego. They also... um. Everything about their image, like this person, if they could, they would have like multiple connections at the same time. Like they would have multiple people around them. Um, this person, like there's an energy of if you look good for them, then they would be interested in you. This person, whoever they are, they seem to send very toxic energy around them. See, the thing is about this person is they're coming off as somebody that's very charming, very attractive. Um, but they're a massive liar, okay? This person, they seem to have a whole lot of people. For some of you, like, this person kind of acts spiritual, right? And it's like, they're trying to trick you into believing that you guys are supposed to be together. But the thing is, their action, like they have some type of addiction or something like that. Their action, they do not um, line up with the character that they are trying to portray here, right? This person's a massive liar and I'm getting that. They may be a good liar, but you can see right through them, right? And it's actually coming off as, yeah, like you're looking at this person as toxic. Like this person's lying about small things. There's an energy of when this person communicates with you as well. Um, you may get like... A little bit of conflict okay this person seems to also fight with everyone I'm getting somebody that 
they're kind of toxic and they also um attract toxic people but the thing is about this person is oh they're crazy calculated guys okay just be careful all right for some of you this is literally like a narcissist that's disguising them and like they're disguising themselves as somebody that's sensitive, somebody that's romantic, okay, somebody that is very loving and caring and wouldn't hurt a soul. But the thing is this person's so vicious behind the scenes, right? And some people get tricked by this person, but I'm getting that they can't trick you, right? You see right through this person. For some of you, this person may, they may be saying things like, oh, I feel a soul connection to you, um, or, you know, we, we are like soulmates or something like that. This feels like a massive red flag. This kind of feels like this person's love bombing you, right? You may have just met this person and they're love bombing you. They're acting like, you know, you're the love of their life and they've never met anyone like you. And there's this energy of them being over the top, okay? Over the top. Maybe they want to jump into things. Maybe they want to move in with you really quick, okay? I'm kind of getting an energy of them wanting to move in with you really quick. And again, there's this energy of them love bombing you, okay? So just be careful. They also seem to... Their whole thing is they act like they're somebody that's very loving, caring... Like, like, they kind of wouldn't hurt a fly. But this person behind the scenes so vicious, guys. Right? You're a manipulator. They do this, right? They lie. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Could be dealing with a Cancer. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. This person's disguising themselves as somebody that they're not, okay? They're disguising themselves as somebody that's, you know, in charge, they're trustworthy, they, you know, are honest, okay? The thing is, this person, they're not, this, they're not that person. The thing is, right, with you, you seem to be somebody that's very trustworthy, honest, okay? very blunt and well um i'm getting that you're somebody that's very authentic you always say what's on your mind um a very good communicator as well and you always speak the truth now this is something that this person pretends that they do but they don't really do right this person is trying to mirror you for some of you, they may be convinced that there's some type of soul connection here between you two, but there's not. This person's actually a narcissist that is, like, drawn to you. And this person also, they adapt. So it's like they have their eye on you and they adapt to people that they like, right? And there's an energy here of them trying to, like, mimic your personality, right? Mimic you. This person, it's like they feel like you are very financially stable. Maybe you have you like your own place to stay or something like that. This person also feels like you're out of their league. This person has their eye on you and they're very obsessive, okay? And they're trying to trick you into thinking that you guys are supposed to be together and that they're somebody that they're not, right? Could be dealing with an Aries. Could be dealing with a Pisces. There's this energy of this person again trying to mimic you, right? Trying to act like you guys are the same, that you guys are like, you know, soulmate. For some of you, this could be a friend as well that's like trying to mimic you. For others, it's a love interest. I'm kind of getting at somebody that 
they really want to be with you and they are doing everything to try to be with you but the thing is they're not being authentic right i'm getting an energy of this person trying to trick you into thinking that you know they're somebody that they're really not right and them getting cut out of your energy or you blocking them or cutting them off right um now they're stressed out this person can't sleep okay this person's been cut from your energy it's like they don't they feel like they can't communicate with you right they feel like they're stuck this is somebody that won't take no for an answer This person stuck on you, right? And I'm getting that they will try everything to get your attention, but nothing works. They also seem to be trying to trick you or trying to trigger you to get your attention. That's not working either. This person, they're completely stuck, right? They also seem to be, it's like they're not able to sleep, okay? They're constantly stressing out. This person's watching you as well. For some of you, they're seeing you speak to somebody else or they see you have your eyes on somebody else. And they're extremely jealous, right? And this person, it's like this person, um, their whole life revolved around you. And it's like in their mind, they've literally deluded themselves into thinking that your whole life revolves around them and this person because they're jealous that you're speaking to somebody else or there's somebody else in your energy. They're trying to make you jealous with somebody, but I'm getting that you're not even seeing it or if you are, it's like it doesn't bother you whatsoever. This is somebody that may have got really over overwhelming. I'm getting you've walked away from this person, right? This person feels projected by you. You've taken your power back. For some of you, um, this person, they're very obsessive. They really think that you guys have a connection, but I'm getting that you seem to have a connection with somebody else or you... Have your eye on somebody else, right? And I'm getting that you're not interested in anybody but the person that you have your eye on. It's a bit confusing. Whoever I'm speaking to, okay, you're very attractive. And because you're very attractive, you may have a lot of people that do feel... A strong connection to you but there's this one person in particular that they are convinced that you know you guys have a special connection but it's just that they're very attracted to you this person's very self-centered they're very cold egotistic they only see themselves they think that you would look good with them so they're trying to trick you and they're lying to you and they're trying to act like you guys have a connection they're acting like they're somebody that they're not, um, this person's very confused, they're also, they feel rejected, they feel like they'll never be good enough for you, um, they also feel like, there's a lot of confusion here, right, because you don't feel the same way. It's like this person can't take no for an answer. Could be dealing with a Libra. I'm also getting an energy of this person. They feel... They're watching you and it's like... They feel like you're doing better than them financially. And it seems that they're very jealous here. They feel like it's not fair. This person seems to be struggling financially, right? 
They also seem to be stuck energetically and they seem to be stressed. You seem to be doing really well and this person's watching you do well and they can't stand it. This could be somebody from your past. This person can't get over you. Like, I don't know. I'm getting that there's no communication. You've walked away from this person, but this person cannot get over you. They constantly, it's like they're stuck on you and they're watching you and they're very disappointed. Um, they're also disappointed because it's like you walked away from them and you suddenly started doing a whole lot better. You, start, you started making new friends. You started doing better financially. And this person, they're disappointed right they're also they're trying to make you jealous um the thing is you don't seem to really care they literally are judging the situation wrong there's an energy of this person um you may be with somebody else or you know you have somebody that you know is your person for some of you it could be a twin flame soulmate but it's not this person, and this person, they're trying to convince themselves that you're denying their, your feelings or something like that. You could be dealing with a Leo, you could be dealing with strong Scorpio, you could be dealing with a Virgo. This person actually thinks that So this person's waiting for you, okay? This is somebody from your past, could be an ex or something, but they're waiting for you, okay? To realise that you're in love with them or to open up spiritually. But the thing is, this is a one-sided connection, right? This is literally, this is a narcissist, okay, that feels very drawn to you. For some of you, um, this is a narcissist that you have made them feel love okay and now they're confused they think that you guys have some type of special connection to be dealing with a gemini yeah no but you may have just been sent to heal this person okay this is one sided on their end you do already have your person but this person's so stuck on you They've also, they have spiritually awakened, right, because of this connection. And again, this could be a cycle that you go through, okay. Um, but there's this energy of this person never being able to get over you. And there's kind of a pattern, okay. It's kind of like you meet the people with narcissistic tendencies, okay. And you make them feel something, you make them feel love for the first time, they feel a special connection, they open up spiritually, they start healing, right? But then you have them not being able to ever get over you, okay? Forever being stuck on you, forever trying to get at you, okay? Forever thinking there's a special connection. Um, when in fact you've just been sent to heal them and open up their heart chakra. Okay, so that's all I have for you. If it resonated, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.